Hey, 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 I, I recorded a video yesterday about motivation, and I don't know if I'll post it before this one or after this video, but I just watched the video by Elliot Hulse, which, by the way, amazing channel, amazing guy. I'll put a link below so you can check it out. And I have his t-shirt right here. I cut the sleeves off because he gets hot as hell here in the summer. But he made a great point about why we lose motivation. And it's something that luckily I learned a while ago, right? That if you think about it, everything goes through seasons, right? Summer, winter, spring, fall, all of them, right? And we go through that too at an inner level emotionally and all this stuff, right? Even physically, physiologically, all of that. And that's why when I made that video about why not ride the wave of motivation when you have it, right? Because that is going to go away. That motivation will go away at some point, right? And he made the point about why you can't just go and go and go nonstop because eventually you'll burn out. But it's about awareness and noticing when you're going into that winter stage, right? That your body, your mind, your soul is asking for some rest. Or maybe some going in instead of so much output, right? And that's why I said in the video that I'll post at some point. Right now, I feel at a point where I feel energetic, passionate and everything. There's someone coming by, so hopefully it's not too much noise. So, and we, we hear all those coaches, right, and the self-development industry talking about balance and it should be about balance and you should have a, <laughs> a lot of the coaches that I've learned from and it's all good I'm not I'm not trying to criticize but it's all about like a tracking sheet and tracking every little action that you do right but I'm not tracking shit right now if I'm motivated I'm just gonna do what I feel like doing and I'm just gonna keep going right I'm gonna ride that wave of motivation because I'm in that summer stage. I'm in the stage of just doing and grinding and hustling and going, right? And I know, I know that if I keep going at this pace, I'm going to burn out. I know that. But I'm doing really well, so why the hell should I not just... If I listen to my body, right? Yesterday, I just rested the whole day. I, I do rest. I still do some meditation, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, things like that. I do add relaxation to my routine but if I this morning I went to the gym then I went swimming and now my cousin's waiting for me because we're gonna do sprints and if my body can handle that right now why not use that motivation that I have why not keep pushing and going if I have that motivation right I love that book which I'm gonna get into the um, about the archetypes right the male archetypes and is a king warrior magician and lover and right now, I feel like the warrior in me is finally waking the fuck up, and I love it. I love it. Why not just take advantage of that, right? If, I, if in the past I've never felt this way, and now I do, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it, right? I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to keep just going with the flow. But if I feel like pushing, and my body's okay with that, right? Sometimes when we come too... I don't know what the world would be, but we analyze things too much and just everything has to be perfect and balanced and I don't know, what if balance is just an illusion, right? Right? Balance goes with movement, there's no balance. If you're in a bike and you're just standing there, right, you can't balance, you have to move to be able to balance, right? So I know that I'm pushing hard, I know that maybe I'm going beyond what I can sustain for a long time, but I'm going to keep riding that wave of motivation while I have it. Because I know I'm not going to have this motivation for 12 months out of the year, right? So, I just wanted to share that so you can think about that in your life, right? Those stages of summer, right? Where you want to do more and more output. And then winter, where you might want to hibernate a little more, right? And go to bed earlier and read more and just, I don't know, relax a little more, right? But one quick recommendation that I do have, at least from my experience and perspective, is that even when you're going through that summer stage of just grinding and, and hustling and all that stuff, do remember to add a little bit of relaxation, right? Whatever it might be, just breathing, right? Deep breathing or just going out for walks and things that relax you and hobbies that you have and little things like that. 
because you won't burn out as quickly and you you do need a little bit of balance right and you might enjoy that stage a little more than if you're always tired and you get up and your mind your heart your soul is telling you to go right you want to push you want to go but your body's like ah, i can't keep up with this shit, right so i don't know it's always a balance i have no clue what the answer is i don't have the seven steps for you to figure that out i'm going through that journey myself so i just wanted to share that with you um i don't know i don't know what the answer is let me know what do you think what do you think is the best way to approach that when you're losing motivation or where your motivation is really high like what do you think let me know what do you think is the best approach or what has worked best for you in your life all right so i'll put a link below for that video on his channel amazing i loved it um i've learned so much from elliot so um thank you elliot really appreciate it all you do and that's it so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up that helps me and subscribe to the channel if you're new a lot more videos are going to be coming out uh, about topics like this, and I love this stuff. I love talking about this, so we'll see. We'll see where it goes. I have no freaking clue, so I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, thumbs up. <laughs> love you. Have a good one.